This is the Atlantic Charger seen in better days. After fishing for Greenland halibut off the coast of Iqaluit, the vessel was steaming for Newfoundland, where the boat is registered. When something went wrong, it's not clear exactly what. But tonight, the ship's owner says the 60-plus foot boat is partially submerged. Just heard that they were taking on water and they're losing their electronics. I, I uh, no idea. I just got a phone call. They're taking on water and uh, we're getting into life rafts. Here's what we do know. The Joint Rescue Coordination Centre in Halifax got the distress call early this afternoon. An Aurora Maritime Patrol plane, a Cormorant helicopter and a Hercules aircraft were scrambled. By late afternoon, there was word that the Hercules had spotted the Atlantic Charger in trouble. The crew had already abandoned ship and were in a life raft. The owner says the crew was wearing emergency suits that protect them from cold temperatures at the time. Rescuers dropped a radio to the crew members who were able to tell rescuers that all nine men are alive. The search and rescue team also dropped some supplies to the stricken crew. As for the Atlantic Charger itself, launched in 2013, it is a state-of-the-art vessel, often used in the shrimp fishery. Now it's unclear if it will ever fish again. I'm unsure. I, I think as far as I can gather, the ship is partially submerged. But I haven't been talking to the skipper, so I, uh, I, I can't tell you exactly what happened. For the families, this is an anxious time. It's not clear when they'll be reunited with their loved ones. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.